Progressions are where we start to travel across the floor. Our followers always move backwards. And again, we always start with our right foot moving back. Our leaders travel facing forward in the same line of direction. And they always start with the left foot moving forward. For today's video, I've kind of combined the two blocking charts. When we're in class, I detail a lot more specifically which half is what. And you'll kind of see that better reflected in my demonstration. So starting with our leader's perspective. If our starting point is here, we step forward with our left foot on count one. We bring our right foot in on two, we step side three, four. So that's the same basic step that we've learned. From there, we take our right foot and instead of going backwards like we did for the box step, we're using our right foot to now move forward. Your right foot steps forward, one, left foot together on two, you step side three, four. So that way you're moving forward across the dance floor. Our follower moves in reverse. So we would step backwards on our right foot together with our left, side three, bring our right foot in together on four. We step backwards with our left foot now. So instead of going forwards like we did for our box step, now we're moving backwards with our left foot. We step together, side and together. Now on this chart, it looks like we're doing a box step, but when you're with your partner, you're moving in a unit across the floor. Like I said, the follower is moving backwards, the leader is moving forwards. Your waltz is similar. So I gave our star as our starting point. If I'm the follower, I would start with my right foot moving back. That would be count one. My left foot is two. I bring my right foot together on three. I progress backwards with my left foot on count one. I move to the side with my right arm two and I bring my left foot in on three. So I'm traveling backwards in line. Now the leader perspective. I'm starting the star down here and when I progress forward, I would be starting with my left foot. That would again be my count one. I travel to the side with my right. That would be two. I step left foot in on three. Now I move forward on count one with my right, left foot is two, I bring my right foot in on three. So I'm progressing forward. Like I said, when you're moving together, this all lines up. So you're not doing separate steps, you're not moving in opposite directions. This is just to kind of abbreviate a little bit easier a blocking chart so you can kind of see how the movements are similar, the counts are the same. It's just you guys are moving as a unit. So to give you an idea of what the blocking chart would look like when you're moving as a unit, you would have your starting point, you would progress, you both move to the side, you progress, you both move to the side, and you keep going in that fashion across the floor. Keep practicing your box step and your progressions and working on those rhythms. Those are going to be the things that really set you up for being able to progress into more complex footwork and everything. So those are your key starting points. I will see you tomorrow as we talk about box turns. I will see you then.